Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eric Morales from Eric Morales Photography here in Melbourne, Florida. And here I am today with another tutorial. And uh, um, practically, we're going to be working in tonality on the skin using the frequency separation. Now, with this technique, we are going to be using a plugin. And what we're going to do, we're going to open Photoshop. This is a pretty simple technique, pretty quick, and this is what I like about it. And I think that this is the best thing to do while you um, working with your photos is always the quick way to edit things. You know, sometimes a quick way is not the best way, but you know, when you have a load of pictures that you need to edit and you need to be doing the same thing constantly, repetitively, you have to learn how to do things a little quicker. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna open the image straight from raw. I'm not going to process it in Lightroom or anything like that, you know, just for the purpose of this tutorial. And uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pick this picture right here. And if you watch my previous tutorials on the frequency separation, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do all the way from scratch so you can see it. You won't miss any steps in case you haven't watched my other tutorials. So I'm going to do it step by step. Okay, so here we got the image. The reason why I showed this image is because you don't have to do much to the skin, as you can see. I mean... This model, Isabel Gonzalez, she has some very, very nice skin, you know, very, very minor blemishes and stuff here, here, there. But uh, but the overall, the skin, she has a great skin. So now what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this layer twice. You know, Control J, Command J in the Mac. What we're going to do, we're going to turn off this top layer. Now in this layer, we're going to go to Filter and a Gaussian Blur. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to set it to about 12, well, 12 pictures is too much. Let's set it to 6 pixels. Maybe 3 pixels. Because I mean, I really don't want to completely blur out the skin. And even though with this frequency separation, the layer that we're working on is the low layer, which is where we're going to be working with the tones on the skin. So I'll say about three pixels look good. So let's just hit OK. And what we're going to do, let's rename this to low as your low frequency. And then the top layer, we're going to name it high. Okay, so now that we got the bottom layer here, we're going to leave that there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to separate this frequency here. So we already got the underlaid uh, layer, which is where we're going to be working with the tones. Now we got the high. This is going to be our texture layer. And what are we going to do? We're going to go to image, apply image. And here, where it says layer, we're going to choose low. And then here on the blending mode, very important, you need to change the blending mode. We are going to change it to subtract. So once you change this to subtract, you got to make sure that your scale, it has uh, the value of 2 and the offset at 128. Now press OK. And we are going to change the blending mode on the layers to linear light. So now we're back with all the texture on the skin.
you see all the texture everything is there so now this is what we are going to do we're gonna grab our um, low layer which is the one that has the Gaussian blur you can't see it because you got the texture layer right on the top but these are two separate layers um, what we're going to do pretty simple pretty quick we are going to use a plugin from ImageNomic Portraiture. Now with this plugin, it gives you the versatility that it'll it split the tones on the skin really nice and subtle, and that's what I like. You just gotta make sure that the details here, you got your fine, your medium, large, and your threshold. So your threshold, you're gonna set it all the way up, your large all the way up, your medium all the way up, and your fine, you're gonna set it of 15, between 15 and 20. Anybody right in between. And she has a nice, very, very nice skin, and I like that. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna do any sharpness, because, I mean, the layer is already blurred, so you don't want to bring those details back. And uh, the softness, you know, it's up to you if you want to set it between, you know, 20, 30, or if you just want to crank it up to 40. It really doesn't matter. It's up to your perception on how you want it. Now, because she has a nice uh, skin tone, so we won't lose those details, we're going to bring the warmth about 2% which gives a nice, really, really nice touch to the image. Now the 10, leave it at zero, you know, brightness, you can make it a little brighter and the contrast, you can add a little contrast. So if you want, just leave it at zero and then press okay. Now you will see that there's a big, big difference. Now you see that right there. Just we're working on the under layer, that's what we get. So here's the before, here's the after. Before and after. You know, and maybe now if we, if we still want to make it more softer, we actually can. So we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to noise medium. And I think right about there, I don't know if you can see the tones, how they blend in from the highlight, medium, and dark. And that's actually what we're looking for when we're doing this edit. Now, the one step that I did forget is that I should have done this on a separate layer. So like that, I would be able to mask it. But don't worry about that because we're going to do that right now real quick. So just go ahead and press OK. So now that we got that medium there, and because I forgot one step, but you see, the only thing that we did to the original uh, image was just a Gaussian blur and about three pixels. So, you know, just duplicate this layer again. And uh, and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. About three pixels, just hit OK. Now what we are going to do, we're going to mask and you need to do it with black, so you need to hide um, that. And then we're just going to grab a brush. And what we're going to do, we're just going to start, you know, brushing around the areas that we want. And we don't want to lose details. Now, as you can see, all the details is still there. We haven't lost any details because our texture layer is still on the top. But now you see how the tones are actually underneath this texture layer. And, you know, right now we're just masking this stuff out. And I know it's a little complicated when you're doing this blindly, but if you need to see what you're doing, you just need to hit the bracket button. 
and automatically shows you the mass so like that you'll see what you're doing and the areas that you're affecting and the areas that you don't want affected. Now here over the eyes. You want to stay away from the eyebrows, you want to stay away from the hair, you want to stay away from the mouth. So, um, you just make this bigger so I could just hurry up and do this. I'm not really going into very deep details on this tutorial. But you see how everything is still there, all the texture. Now everything looks nice and even as far as I can tell. And this image is looking pretty good. Just with the separation technique or the frequency separation technique and a simple plug-in, you could get this results a lot faster than doing it by hand. Then all you have to do is just take care of the blemishes, which is kind of a, a great, great... Uh, technique as far as moving your workflow a little faster. You see how nice, easy. Now try to do this with a very soft brush. If you could keep the softness of the brush at zero will be even better. I know that here we got some details that we don't want to lose, but uh, that really doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. Once I finish doing this, you see like the lines on the hand right here, there, and maybe here inside, they're way, way too soft. You see how they kind of fade out? Like you can still see them, but they still look kind of faded. But what we're going to do, we're going to fix that real quick once I finish unmasking this right here. I am using a Wacom tablet for this, but I'm still not that quick with it, so just bear with me. Look at how nice and soft that skin looks. And you can see the details. You can still see the details, you can still see the hair. Just gonna make this brush a little bigger so I can hurry up and finish this. All right, so I'll say right about there looks good. Now we're gonna hit the bracket button again, and now we're back into normal. Now, just so you could see how precise this is, we're just going to. Um, Put this into a groove so I could toggle on and off so you'll see the difference. So now here's the before, here is the after. It still looks overdone, but no worries, just go into your layer and lower the opacity. No biggie. Right there, I'll say about 50%. And you can still see the results. Real nice, very, very subtle. You see that big difference between point A and B. Now what we're going to do to bring the details back on the lines on the hand, I'm gonna show you again how to do it. We are going to grab the brush tool and what we're gonna do, we're going to lower the opacity about maybe 45%. And with the brush, we're gonna make it a little uh, smaller and we're going to change the color to black so we're gonna hit X automatically change it to black and you start painting over these areas where you want to bring back 
that detail here and the lines on the hand here in the inside hand right in between the fingers almost anywhere that you could see lines you could just lower the opacity to about half and still got the same effect see like here maybe this here fingers here this fingers here maybe some of the lines here in the neck then here because you really don't want to lose all these details now maybe here kind of give it a little bit more definition here and I'll say that there looks about good so then once again before and after before and after one simple trick with the frequency separation layer and just the image dynamic portraiture plugin and you could get this great 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 results and then you know after that you could just you know just grab your uh, healing brush tool and we're going to work in just the texture layer now you will see the advantage of working on separate layers which is why this frequency separation technique is so precise because now this is our tones layers right here and this is our texture uh, layer here and we could just simply start working around here now this is just your texture layer so you know all you have to do you know work in these little details you see how this works pretty nice and quick just going to clean out some of this hair here this is actually why I love this technique it's like so so precise and it's pretty pretty simple got this hairline here and remember every time you're using the healing brush tool you just click all or option on, on, on the Mac and just click on an area that looks clean and voila it's pretty simple pretty precise got this hair here then this one here you know this is a pretty simple uh retouch i'm not gonna go into complete full details but just to show you how precise this technique is you see and we still got that tech uh, that texture on our layer and then we're just going to you know remove some of these blemishes real quick just grab from a clean area and drag into the area you want affected here there then whatever you take after that is up to you remember I'm not here to tell you do and not do you could use this technique if you want you could just grab part of it and you know incorporate it into your workflow I mean I'm not telling you this is the right way but for me it is and you know when you edit in many many pictures I think this technique right here saves you from trying to fix tonalities and fixing shadows and highlights you know using this plugin you know image portraiture um saves you some time you know into fixing some of those tones and i think this is very very important that you get the tones right i mean not as much at the skin but it's very important that we leave some details on the texture layer or on the overall the image so that right there looks about good I mean I'm not gonna worry about these hairs or nothing because like I said this is just to show you this quick technique 
But I'll say that about there looks good. Now let's look at the before. Let's look at the after. Before and after. Well, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this tutorial can really help you with your workflow when you're editing your images. Now remember, this is the frequency separation technique and just incorporated the ImageNomic Portraiture plugin just for the tonality on the skin. And like I said, you can look at it here, before and after. Pretty nice technique, right? Well, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Eric Morales from Eric Morales Photography Hill, Melbourne, Florida. And like I said, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and, you know, drop me a line on my Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Eric Morales Photography. So it will be until next time. Thank you and have a great day.